We're back for another episode of Cut This, Polish That. Today's challenge is a Euro seam. We're gonna cut it on the Voyager and polish it on the Fastback 2. Before we dive into today's challenge, I'd like to take a second to introduce Jesse Mosier. Jesse is our newest sales application specialist here at Park and a newest addition to our Cut This, Polish That team. Welcome, Jesse. Thanks, Rocky. Hi, I'm Jesse Mosier. I've been an installer with Park for six years. Now I'm excited to show off these machines. Fantastic, welcome Jesse. And why don't you tell us a little bit more about what we're gonna be doing today. Today, uh, we're gonna take a YouTube comment from you guys, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna cut a Euro seam on the Voyager XP, and then take that over to our Fastback 2 and polish it. We're gonna show you how easy it is on these machines to process that material and do a beautiful seam every time. Jesse, why don't you tell us about the material we're gonna be cutting today? Today we're teaming up with MSI and we're going to be cutting a beautiful 3CM Calcutta Quartz. Fantastic. Jesse, where do we start? Let's head over here, Rocky, and take a photo on the Pathfinder. Here we are at the Pathfinder. We got the slab loaded up. I'm going to take a quick photo and then we're going to head into the office and do our vein matching in there. Here we are at Slab Maker. I'm going to take a quick photo. From here, it's gonna pull up the image of the slab and it's gonna crop it out from the background of our green screen. I'm just gonna use our trace. Trace that slab. And from here, I'm just gonna save this and send this file into the office. All right, let's head into the office. Here we are in the studio, going to give you a quick overview on the programming process for the Voyager XP. Here we are in Slabsmith, I've got my slab loaded. Try and match up these veins as best as possible. So you can see I have my slabs separated a little bit here. And by doing this, it gives me room to get the incremental router in there and get some saw cuts, but you can see on my right side here that the vein match is perfect. Here we are at AlphaCam. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my Voyager tab and auto toolpath using our easy button. You can see in the blue here, this is our saw cuts, and then the red here is the section that the saw is not able to reach. So we're going to finish that off with our incremental router. And these little circles here, these are our tight cuts. So the saw is going to come in and cut real tight, to get those nested parts cut out. I'm gonna quick extend our cuts to border. And it's just like that, we're done. And send it off back to the machine. Quick and easy programming. Let's go to the machine and do some cutting. All right, Jesse. We're back here at the Voyager XP. We have our material loaded. Where do we go from here? From here, we're gonna take our job sheet using our barcode scanner, scan it in, easy as that. Load up the program, hit start. And from here, the Voyager is gonna come up and ask to install the incremental router, but we've already got that done. Love it. Let's cut. This is going to be two separate incremental routing portions, uh, one for each side of the Euro seam. The Voyager is going to do the first one, come up and do the second one, and then we'll be able to go into our cutting. With the 27 horsepower Arbor on the Voyager and the tight cut feature, we're able to significantly reduce the amount of incremental routing we have to do, greatly speeding up the fabrication process. Now that we've completed our incremental routing portion, you can see just how quick that was. So here we'll have the Voyager come up to the milled section and you'll see it do a tight cut. It's actually gonna do a tight cut on all four sides of this. With the blade coming into the milled area, uh, we'll have a, a perfect transition between the blade and the milled area, making sure that our Euro seam fits absolutely perfect. So although our challenge today was very specific, uh, some of the great features we're not going to see today that the Voyager is very capable of doing is mitering. Also, uh, with the incremental router, we're able to do all those radiuses and curves doing sink cutouts, and the tight cut allows us to nest our pieces very tight. The Voyager XP is a very versatile machine, cutting all types of materials, including porcelains, ultra compacts, 
and all your really hard to fabricate quartzites. And then we'll cut out our second part. A couple of quick passes. This will be the L portion with one more tight cut in there. Voyager will make quick work of this and then we'll be off to the fastback. Here we're going to come into our final cut. So before we jump over to the fastback, we'll just take a look at our pieces straight off the Voyager and see just how nice that seam is. All right, let's take this and head over to the fastback too. All right, Jesse, we've done our cutting on the Voyager XP. Now we're here at the Fastback 2. Walk us through how we're going to polish this Euro seam. Absolutely, Rocky. We take our tape measure, make a few measurements. And you're just measuring from the leading edge there? Yep, from the leading edge of the piece to where the, the offset begins. So we've got 34 and a half inches here. And it looks like we got the same measurement on this piece as well. So I'm going to head back over to the machine. Going to auto, polish offset, and on our last selection, I'm gonna hit 34 and a half. And we're gonna go back into auto, and hit cycle start. It's that easy. We're gonna feed in our piece. Love it. So here we have Jesse putting our first piece in. Uh, you saw us do the polish offset pro. In this specific example, both our offsets are actually gonna be the same. But when using the Offset Pro, if you're changing from side to side, you do wanna let those pieces run all the way through because the machine is set up to run the offset on that particular piece. So we'll do them basically one at a time. Fastback has the capability of running pieces up to 72 inches a minute. This specific example today, we're running about 60 inches a minute. Here, Jesse will roll in the second piece. Feed it through the fastback tube. We'll pull our first piece off and we'll get that set up and ready to polish the edge. This is another great example of the versatility of the fastback tube. It's not just a backsplash machine. We can do full fabrication on this machine, doing tall pieces, short pieces, long pieces, pieces with seams, pieces offset. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can feed them all through the fastback. So now that our polish offset pieces are through, we're able to run our pieces consecutively through uh, back to back and polish those other edges. But you can see with the slab back support system, we're able to safely put pieces in there up to 96 inches tall um, and basically polish a whole kitchen. We'll get our L pieces out of the way. We'll let our backsplash finish up here and then we'll take a look at all the great results. Okay, Jesse, we've done all of our cutting on the Voyager XP, all of our polishing on the Fastback too, and I gotta say, results are amazing. Yeah, I agree, Rocky, this turned out very beautiful. Also, I'd like to point out the Euro seam up here from the Voyager XP, it's flawless. It is beautiful, and it was really fast too. Very fast, I'd say less than 30 minutes of machine runtime. I think that really shows the powerhouse of production that these two machines together can do. Hey, I'd like to thank MSI uh, for allowing us to cut this beautiful slab of quartz today. I would like to thank the person on YouTube for the suggestion. That was a fun challenge. Hey, if you like what you've seen here today, we'd love to have you here at Park Industries. We'd love to fly in on our dime to see any one of these great machines. Well, that wraps up another episode of Cut This, Polish That. Thank you, guys. Hey, if you got another challenge, drop a comment below. We'll catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for the latest, greatest Park Industries videos. Thank you, have a great day.